Your impressions of Kaywood Ledford? Uh, very high. I think he's one of the best I've ever seen on racing. I love to hear him call a race. And I also think he's the best on basketball. Great. Kaywood Ledford's going to be our guest next, right here on TV 11. Can I help you? Nobody can. I'm about to redress him in a wax floor. Ah, uh, yes. Sooner or later, they almost all need a final redressing, but not a Mannington. No redressing. That would be heaven. Exactly. Here's where you can get a Mannington JT88 Never Wax Floor at down-to-earth prices. J&J &J Plywood in Clarksville, also specializing in kitchen cabinets at 40% off. Oh, my mouth. Get on-the-spot relief from Cacosaurs with Oragel CSM, the Cacosaur medicine with a painkiller. Oragel CSM. It really works. Franciscans and Worldwide Marriage Encounter. Channel 11, Louisville. Well, here's a familiar friend of WHAS in Kentucky, Anna Kaywood Ledford is here with us today. Uh, the one and only. He's head of Kaywood Ledford Productions and for so many years the distinguished sports director of these stations and uh, now helping us celebrate the 30th anniversary. Kaywood's going to spend the morning with Faith and Me. Which we're recognizing all week, the 30th years of uh, television for Channel 11. But before we start our conversation with Kaywood, time for the latest headlines on the local area with Mindy Shannon. And good morning. Governor Brown's $9.5 billion budget passed the House and now goes to the Senate. It was passed in an 85-14 to 14 vote. The House concurred with Brown's proposed cut of nearly $7.5 million in spending for the Department of Human Resources. It also agreed to add more than $23 million for two education programs. Starting Tuesday, Louisville Gas and Electric customers will be able to pay their gas and electric bills on a budget plan. The company says charges which run higher in the winter and summer periods can be averaged with lower bills in the fall and spring. Customers may pay in full or base payments on average monthly usage during the previous year. About 20,000 fans turned out at Freedom Hall last night to celebrate the Louisville Cards NCAA championship. All-American Daryl Griffith took the opportunity to remind the governor the Cards need a new arena. Also Griffith's jersey, number 35, was retired. That's a brief look at the news. Stay tuned now for Omelet. You've probably seen this amazing demonstration of Tarnex Silver Cleaner. And perhaps you've wondered whether Tarnex really works that fast and easy. Well, let me assure you, it does. And not just on spoons, but on all your tarnished pieces. If you have a tray with deep, intricate patterns, just wipe on Tarnex. Instantly, the tarnish disappears. You see, Tarnex uses a chemical action which changes the silver oxide tarnish back into silver. It removes the tarnish, but not the silver. That's why Tarnex is safe to use on all your sterling, silver plate, gold, or platinum. When you find antiques or family heirlooms like this, use Tarnex. You'll clean years of tarnish off in seconds. Coin collectors will love the way Tarnex shines coins. And it's wonderful for cleaning diamonds and jewelry. There are all kinds of copper cleaners, but did you ever see one that works this easy? Think of the hours Tarnex will save you in the kitchen. So put an end to the tiresome, time-consuming chore of rubbing and scrubbing whenever you clean your silver. Just wipe on Tarnex. Instantly, the tarnish disappears. Use Tarnex. This bottle contains more Tarnex than you'll probably use at home in a year. And it's guaranteed to work for you at home as quickly and easily as it does here on TV. Or return it to place of purchase for your money back. Only $3, Tarnex is the amazing tarnish remover. Available at Walgreens, Super X Drugs, Woolworth Woco, and Taylor Drug Stores. This week only at Sears Portrait Studios, you can get 16 color portraits for only $10.95. You may pay 95 cent deposit at the time of sitting, and the $10 balance on delivery for one 8x10, two 5x7, 10 wallet size, and three color miniatures and charms. 
full package orders only. 95 cents for each additional subject in portrait. Offer good for portraits taken through Saturday at these Sears portrait studios. As Faith said, we're celebrating all this week the 30th anniversary, and tomorrow night, Kay, would, uh, on Friday night, they're going to reproduce Hayloft Toenown and T-Bar V, which is a little bit different from what you do. But Kay Wood Ledford is uniquely gifted as a sportscaster. He's probably the only man in America who's superb in three major sports, in basketball, in football, and in racing. He is one of a kind, and for many years he was our sports director. We still carry all of his programs. He's now head of his own production unit, which bears his own name. And much of his blood and sweat and bones are in the fabric of this TV station. Right. But before we go back to the years that mark the progress of this TV station, we have to go only two nights ago to more recent history because you fed a national radio network of over 400 stations for a game that was of immense importance, especially to people here in Kentucky, Anna, and that's when L played the Bruins of UCLA and won the highest honor the collegiate basketball team could win. It was a thrilling night. I know you've had many thrilling moments, but it was exciting to broadcast to four, 400 stations, I should think. Well, it was, and of course, I was very pleased for Louisville because, to my mind, I think that the NCAA championship is the most difficult team championship in the world to win. I'm talking about the Super Bowl yeah. or the Stanley Cup playoffs or the World Series or anything because you've got over 200 major college teams, Division I teams, they're called. And then 48 of those, about 20%, are chosen to go into this tournament. And all 48 are excellent basketball teams. And for a team to win it, it not only has to be good, it has to be good every single night. And it takes a lot to win it. A team cannot have an off night. And uh, it's a great honor, and I'm very pleased for Denny Crum and his staff and his players because it is a tough one to win. But I was interested. I was listening to WHAS radio this morning, an excerpt uh, that Governor Brown said, it's Last tough night. to be a champion, it, mm -hmm. and it is hard. And I think that Louisville will find this out, that every night uh, they're going to be playing yeah, the national yeah. champions. And it's, it's it, you know, you go out uh, 27 times a year, and everybody's out to get the king. And it'll, hey, it'll well, what about the, the rivalry? I think that was brought up on Milton's uh, Mets Here program recently between U of K and U of L. Is there any <laughs> outlet there for it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think, uh, as a matter of fact, I, I think there's more bitterness there. Yeah. Uh, than I had expected. And, of course, uh, I've been very close to the University of Kentucky program for many years, and I know all the people out at UofL and saw many of their games when I lived here, the 22 years I was here, and even did their games way back. But uh, I didn't realize, mm -hmm. I don't think how bitter, how much bitterness there was in it. I think it's a little more, more a lot more than, than friendly I thought. Simple. Yes. It's unfortunate. It is unfortunate. Uh, because uh, it would seem that there's always room for class champions to to share the spotlight, I would think. Oh, sure, and I think uh, the fact that uh, I, I just hoped everyone would be proud that. Uh, but I think it exists on both sides. Oh, you? absolutely. I We've got to something Jerry coming Jones. up. He called them the hardcore, and everybody has. I'm sure it exists. Before you set it up as a tape, and I wanted to ask you, someone we're all three of us, I think, very fond of, and that's Muhammad Ali. Are you distressed about his statements that he's going to fight again, K. Wood? I really am, because. Uh, I think he is, I certainly haven't seen them all, but I think he may be the greatest uh, fighter that ever lived. I know he's the greatest athlete that I've ever been associated with, and a remarkable man. Why is he going to do that? I don't know. I, I don't know whether, uh, I, I suspect deep down he might need the money. You and I hate so? to say that. I do. Uh, you know, he, he likes to live well. His, uh, his uh, former personal physician, Freddie Pacheco, a very articulate man in Florida says it's a big mistake and may jeopardize his life. At any rate, we have dug up from the archives a black and white interview that you did with Muhammad Ali when he was known as Cassius Clay. I haven't seen this recently, and I think, though, from talking with your producer, that uh, this apparently was before he fought Sonny Liston in Miami, Florida. And I went down to cover the fight, and I came back and did a half-hour special called Float Like a Butterfly Same. and Sting Like a Bee. And, All right. Uh, that was, that was, I think that's what it is. All right, this is less than two minutes. So this was with Kay Wood and the historic interview with uh, then Cassius Clay. Local Golden Gloves competition produced heavyweight champion Cassius Clay. In Miami for his title fight, we recorded this story. Cassius, how will you fight Sonny Liston? Well, Kay Wood, my strategy will be to move a lot of fast moving in and out, hit and not be hit. A lot of dance, and let me call my assistant trainer over here, Bodini, and he'll tell you. Bodini, yes, yes. what's going to be our strategy? How 
float like a butterfly and sing like a bee. Hey, lumber, young man, lumber. Hey, that's what we're going to do. You just heard an example. He's an inspiration. That's the cactus place. Help. How Cassius has given us some interesting programs. There are many sides to this amazing young man. He can play the buffoon, but he can have his serious moments, too. His membership in the black Muslims provoked serious discussion from Cassius Clay. Being the most popular athlete on the planet Earth, I just got to telegram next month I might have to go to Jahat, Jahat or someplace between China and Japan. It's a country where all of the Islamic officials of the whole world, Saudi Arabia, Ethiopia, the Sudan, Egypt, and Bethlehem, Jerusalem, all of these fellows are going to meet around a table and they won't be there. Mm -hmm. And well, this, this has made me a really a big fella and, and really lets the people uh, know that I'm not in a lot of these things that's happening as far as fights and forced integration. And they look at me and say, well, this fellow, you don't worry about him. He's not like that. If it involves people, it involves WHAS sports. Local and national, we go and we do. Reporting and interpreting the news from the exciting world of sports. Oh, he there. has uh, <laughs> so much respect from so many people, uh, Muhammad Ali does. And I think we were all relieved when he said he was hanging it up after winning it twice. And three going, times. Three, three times, times right. you know, and going out on top. Absolutely, and the only man ever to win it three times. Yeah. Okay, would you... Uh, you have spent many years at this station. Now you have your own production, but you're still broadcasting on these stations. It would seem to me that no matter what you go to, you know, with your network commitments and your separate productions and your own production facilities, WHAS must be an integral part of your background. Well, absolutely, Mel. I was here 22 years. You met your wife here, I too. I met my wife. Well, I had met her before here, but I got to know her here. Let's uh, <laughs> put it that way. But, uh... You know, 22 years, and I've been in the business 29, so I've spent all but seven of them um, right here at WHAS. The station is a great station, both the radio, when I say, I should say stations, radio and television. And it is very much a part of our lives. And, uh, and since my wife worked here, we uh, still watch and listen and still feel very close to the, all the people here. We have many friends, so that's probably the hardest part about moving. I think I asked you once before when we've had you on Omelette about the most difficult type of sports casting. Did you say horse racing oh, yes. is because yes. of the quickness and the it's speed? It's so short, that's right. The Derby is one of the longest races, and it lasts two minutes. And your day in and day out racing is going to last a minute, ten seconds, or less, or a little more. But uh, there's just no room for error mm -hmm. in horse racing. Whereas if you're talking about a football game, you're talking three hours. A basketball game, you're talking an hour and 45 minutes. So little mistakes aren't critical there. Say the foul is on Jones, and then it really isn't. You correct mm -hmm. and go on. But you get the wrong horse on the lead, and you're in big trouble. <laughs> oh, and big. everybody remembers it. That's right. <laughs> We're talking to Kay Wood Litford. We're reminiscing about some of the many years that he spent on staff here and about the WHS TV history in connection with our 30th anniversary. More of which will follow. <laughs> It's a colorful spring at Daw Hairs, so come on in and see what's new in all our departments. And right now, there's a fresh collection of ladies' rainwear on sale. Eight dashing colors, single-breasted with hoods, double-breasted trench styles, patch pockets, pleated backs, all sorts of looks. Values to $72, now $39.90 and $49.90. You'll find the looks of today at Daw Spring is here, and for you ladies, it's the time of year you want to look your best. And maybe you have a few pounds left over from the wintertime. Gloria Marshall Figure Salons wants to help you. One of those helped is my guest today. This is Lassie Shaw, who goes to the Green Tree Mall, Gloria Marshall Figure Salon. What did they do for you, Miss Shaw? Well, I have lost uh, inches that I needed to take off. And furthermore, I don't exercise too much through the winter, so I get exercise there that I need. Now, how, how are things for you now as a result of your treatments? Fine. I feel good, and I think I look a little better, or I can wear the clothes that I need to wear. <laughs> That's very nice. Thank yeah. you for coming in this morning. 
Green Tree Mall is where Lassie Shaw goes, but there are other locations too, one on Dixie Highway, one on Oxmoor. Glory Marshall is for people of all ages, for women who want to lose dress sizes, who want to lose weight. Remember what they say, you have a friend at Glory Marshall. Results begin the moment you do. Call Glory Marshall right now. You might only know how really good Van Rolon is if you try something else. I found out the week we rented a cabin in the mountains. I remembered my hiking boots, but forgot my Van Rolon. My friend lent me her Sure aerosol, so I used it instead. But it didn't keep me as dry as Van Rolon. I'm told Van Rolon keeps you drier than any leading spray. And I believe it. Van Rolon. If you're using any leading spray, find out for yourself how effective Van Rolon is. Former sports director Haywood Ledford is our guest today, and we're recognizing 30 years of being in television all this week on Omelette. Had Sam and uh, Phyllis on yesterday, and we've got Jim right. Walton coming on Friday. So it's sort of fun to reminisce. Do you keep a lot of your own tapes? That's the thing we found so disappointing. We can't find any of the old shows. I really don't have any, and I, I guess we don't. Of course, tapes, they didn't have the little That's home true. things, you know, for so long. Those are fairly recent, but... Uh, kinescopes or things. I don't have, in fact, I hadn't seen that thing in so long that we ran with the interview with uh, Cassius Clay. But if they had been as easy, I think, to do then. But you could tie so many kept. up, too, really. That's true. But if the business has changed, it's just uh, unreal. Uh, uh, looking what at about a, sports casting? How has it changed, and especially with women coming into the field more so? Well, in sports casting, the women coming in, of course, they're just, I think it's very difficult for a woman. Uh, I think she has to be so much better than a man Because she's in, just because coming in. Well, because I think uh, it's basically a male audience you're working to. And uh, they seem to be a little, a little more critical of a woman. So I think she's really got to be better than a man coming in. But they're coming all the time, more and more. And I, but I think it's a wide open field for a woman. Are there any in particular you think are doing an outstanding job in uh, sports? Or well, I really not don't that know many. that many. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and so many of them are just, I think, used as a, yeah. a, a well, decoration, color. like uh, the girl with NFL of Jane Kennedy. Mm -hmm. You hired a few for part-time work when you were here, didn't yes, you? Yes, I thought we were. I thought as women's sports were getting bigger, that it really was time to try to to get a reporter in there, even though I think now that they should cover both. You're That's what I was going to ask you. Should but, they uh, be just in women's sports? Well, at that time I thought that, but this was, we're talking five years ago, or six years ago, because uh, the women were playing basketball, right. and Title IX were, was changing everything, and, uh, uh, but now I think if you're going to be a sports reporter, you're a sports reporter, whether you cover men or women. Going back to Jane Kennedy, she is such an attractive woman, oh, but you she feel she's not given anything of real substance to uh, pursue, or you I have a feeling that her part is very strictly scripted. Superficial. No, not superficial. But I am sure that, in what that they've she's, given her she's to do. scripted, that she isn't permitted a lot of ad-libs. and okay, That's well, my feeling. There are a lot of sportscasters all over America who worked here and who were hired by you, who made uh, brief or strong impressions for the time they were here. Have you kept in touch with many of your former colleagues? Uh, some of them. Most of them, I guess, I would know where they are. Uh, Dave Martin was the first one I did not hire. He was hired by uh, George Walsh, right. because he came, oh, like a month after I did. And Dave is in New York now working for ABC Radio. Uh, Bill Frank, I did hire. Right. I guess he was the first one I hired. And Bill was here a short time, then went to Chicago. Right. And then he went to New York, and I think he's back in Chicago. Is there a certain image sportscasters have, like a macho look? Not really. I don't think really, no. At one time, maybe? I don't believe so. I'm thinking of the sportscast we were thinking about when we were getting the show together, who had the short cut uh, haircut. Remember, he was in sports when I first came here. Uh, crew cut. Sounds Walt Adams. Walt Adams. Yeah. 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 Walt, Walt is in Nashville now. Is he? Mm -hmm. And Jim Mueller. We wanted Jim Mueller to come back to be with you. He's a prominent sports director in Cleveland, but right. he's down with the uh, for spring training with the Indians right. in Florida and couldn't be here. He was one of your good choices, I think. Oh yeah, he did a great job, and he's still doing a good job, from what I understand. What about any events that you would like to cover that you never really have done the color for? I'd like to do the Olympics. I, I wouldn't want to do the Olympics. I'd like to do one sport in the Olympics. I never have done that. I think I've done about everything mm -hmm. else. Have you ever done curling? No, I have. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? And I believe that I can live without it. <laughs> you live without it, that's right. What event would you like to do in the Olympics if you had your chance? Oh, a basketball or yeah, track or yeah. almost anything, I think. So you really I would want to get into skiing in the Winter Olympics. It's something I know nothing about. You, what is, your, is there a possibility for that? Or? Not really. I, I don't think. Um, I'm not that hung up on it. I mean, I'm not going to go for it, and nobody's. my phone hasn't rung, and I don't think they're going to have it anyway, so it lets yeah. us all off the hook. What's your opinion of Mr. Cosell? 
Well, I think he's a very brilliant man because he turned, and I think Ali made him famous. And I think he was smart enough to realize the opportunity and uh, that his one forte was controversy. I think he's used it well. I think, uh, I think he's done a great job with what he has. And you feel uh, comfortable with the way he uh, Doesn't conducts. bother me. I think he, uh, I really think it all came about when ABC had the contract with Ali, and it's come out it was a contract even on the so-called uh, just drop-in type of shows, but Ali mm. was always a showman, and he loved Cosell arguing with me, and, uh, or with him, rather, right. and uh, I think this kind of, I think it Set built it Cosell's out. image, but Ali always loved those things. I remember Clure Mosier was, uh, and it made Sports Illustrated, had had him on a program in uh, Miami, and Clure was uh, from Louisville, had played football at the University of Louisville, and uh, was a very controversial sports figure in Miami. And, right. uh, and uh, Ali had lost his license or something, and he said they had three things in common. Uh, they were both from Louisville. Neither one could drive, and neither one could fight. So uh, <laughs> Ali got up and walked off the set. Oh. Uh, well, it was, he, we had him on like a month later, and I said, was that all set up? And he said, oh, sure. And he says, yeah. why don't we do that tonight? I said, you stay right where you are. <laughs> well, a lot of people who interview him are intimidated. You never know what mood Muhammad's in sometimes, or whether he's serious or pulling your leg. But he well, always was great with, <laughs> with you. With you. Well, he's always, with us. He, he loves well, fun. And, uh, he's I, very I, loyal to uh, Louisville interviews. I would think He's so. a great person. I, Thank you so much, Kay Wood, for coming in and gracing pleasure. our show today. My pleasure. In celebration of 30 years. Tell you about tomorrow's lineup in just a moment. Store owner John Mauser talks about Gateway and Key Markets. Okay, if we can help you holler. I like dealing with the consumer. I like trying to satisfy the consumer. We are very competitively priced, and I think the biggest advantage that we have got to offer, of course, is the friendly service and the, the personal service. We own the store, and we need that consumer. We're going to do all we can to satisfy. Break the chain store habit at Gateway and Key Markets. Introducing a greater value Kmart Personality Portrait Package. A 95 cent deposit. Total package price only $12.95. Now two eight by tens, what a value. Tuesday through Saturday in all Louisville area Kmarts. Butterball presents the spirits of the first turkey lovers. I smell a turkey, but I see it's no wings, no legs. Turkey on meatloaf night, terrific. Presenting Butterball Breast of Turkey, all plump, juicy white meat, roast in as little as two hours. Juicy. And all white meat. What's Dow had served, breast of turkey on meatloaf night? What's meatloaf? Butterball Breast of Turkey, one of three delicious ways to make any dinner special. Hey, Lucy, aren't you going to pitch? No, I'm going to party. Oh, Lucy. I'm sorry, but I'm very busy. Girls feel very grown up in Jack and Jill sandals. From Fava, just $7. They fit beautifully, specially priced. $7, including livings. Girls will be girls. Well, almost. In Jack and Jill's, $7 only at Fava. Hey, Lucy. Fava, a different kind of shoe store. Paul Clark and Ray Shelton, who had shows here in past years on television, will be our guests on tomorrow's show. Ray Shelton Faith was the first announcer hired for WHS television by the then chief announcer, Paul Clark, and we're going to reminisce about some of the staff announcers. Our sincere thanks to our guests today, the so. distinguished Kaywood Ledford. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye, everybody. Tonight at 7, Tom and Angie continue to do a good job of informing you on things happening in the Louisville area. 
Louisville Tonight continues its salute to WHAS-TV on its 30th anniversary with a look at a modern TV newsroom as they go inside, behind the scenes of Action 11, spending an entire day with the news team to see how news is put together and who doesn't. Now, stay tuned for CBS News. This is the CBS Mid-Morning News with Marlene Sanders substituting for Douglas Edwards. Good day from the CBS Newsroom in New York. Campaign 80, it may not be a whole new ball game, but it feels that way. Edward Kennedy is savoring his surprise victories in the New York and Connecticut primaries. Last night, he hammered away again at the themes he says could give him a surprise nomination in August. 